What's up, Cappy? This is for December of 2020, okay? We all know you guys want love, but love and life go hand in hand, right? So take it as it comes. It's a general. We have something major going on the 21st, but I personally feel something for the December 28th through January 3rd. I'm not sure what it is. just really big energy. Uh, we'll get into my premonitions at the end because I have some things to say to everyone. Okay, so let's go. What's going on for singles and couples? Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. December of 2020. Someone's feeling lost. Soon you'll reach a life purpose with the partner. It's hidden in a message that will be delivered at the right time. And then the wheel starts to spin for you. It's as, um, you're really confused about which way to go. If you should stay with someone, is this the right direction? You know, if you're lost, you're single. You know, soon you're going to meet up with your person. Okay? Like, for real. Um, if you are stuck and you are single and you wonder what the hell is going on, it usually has to do with who we are with, who we put ourselves around, do we try, do we put ourselves out there, do we have some toxic habits that need changed? I mean, it literally does come down to this, okay? Like, people have seasons. Um, I don't know. It almost looks like you're going to get a message. Like a forever changing message, right? To do in your new department. Could be an online venture. You could get a contract through work. And that's how you meet someone right now. You just feel completely lost. Drowning in your emotions. Right, okay. So the four of swords like flew out with the five of cups on me. You could be dealing with a water sign. Like straight up. Yeah, queen of cups. Page of Earth. That is doing something different, learning some new skill, learning how to talk to each other, maybe even going to counseling. Okay. But right now it's like you guys almost maybe need a break from each other if you're coupled. Just like four days, right? Because someone's looking at how something just didn't turn out. Maybe you just broke up. Now you're lost. You're confused. You don't know what to do. You know, you may be on the verge of um, a divorce to be fair because I see a mother here but just know that good things like a life purpose don't come easy right life purpose is dead set in the, in the middle of this holy moly by Kathy Davy um, I feel that's very important to tell you what's on my my playlist right now um, but yeah, it's all about student success. Okay. But you're paying too much attention to what you don't have or what didn't work out. And that's why you're sad about the situation that just unfolded. Yeah. Self prophesizing, right? Or you're in a relationship with someone super dictating. You got to get the hell out or, you know, <sighs> singles. You're expecting the worst, therefore you're going to pull in the worst. So you got to change that mindset real quick. You change that mindset, you you remove that hurdle, you remove that block that you got your arms crossed to. However, someone's got a husband or a partner who refuses to open up and is causing you to feel completely lost. What's up with the life purpose? Okay, everyone needs a break. I totally get it. A lot of arguments could be with friends or something that are around you right if you're single there's some honest communication coming out of those arguments that's gonna lead to that ending so you can move forward and start to spin that wheel the chariot the nine of wands and the magician right you're gonna start investing in yourself and that's what brings you to your life purpose by investing in yourself you're able to give to the relationship that you're already in. You're able to find a new relationship. And you're able to smash some, because uh, I felt like a contract, like job-wise goals. Because you're going to start standing up for yourself. You're going to start standing up for the relationship. You're going to 
you know, maybe get some family members up out of your business that don't need to be there. Since I'm trying to cater to everyone, like I said, you need something more specific, my information's down below. Go book a reading. You just pick a time, okay? Don't pay too much attention to the times on the thing. Pick a time and you get your reading literally within 6 to 12 hours, depending on, because people get a hold of me on Instagram and stuff too, so they're not always like booked. But 6 to 12 hours, you get your video. Let's get a love message. Probably that message I was talking about. Someone had to go grow up. It's safe for you to love. Someone had to go grow up. You can trust them person. You gotta free yourself of the past person though that you're clinging on to. Right? The one that's really clouding up your aura, your your mind space, the one that maybe controlled you, the one that lied to you. Who put your finances in career. Yeah, I told you jobs. There's something about going and being on the move and getting like a new opportunity for your your career and your finances that bring you like into alignment with your person and your purpose. Cappy. Right, because someone's been lying about their feelings. This was maybe once upon a time your true love and now you get another chance. You just feel completely lost and it's like they appear right back into your life. Worth waiting for. I mean, for real. <laughs> because what you're in right now, or if you are, if you were in it, you just recently broke up, whatever. Um, you probably gave more love than the other person. There was no mutual love there, and that's kind of why you're feeling lost right now. So heads up, chin up, tits up, whatever you need. Um, it's coming. All right. I feel this is more like February, March, into that time frame. But moving into uh, my message, I'm not just here for love and light. I've been getting premonitions since January about chemical warfare and stuff like that. Uh, it's come to pass. I didn't speak out on it. People still think I'm crazy. I seen child tracking, blah, blah, blah. My message is to the people who are dividing even more, please stop. If you get vaccinated, cool, stay in your lane. People like me can't have it, we will die. Straight up, I'm not allowed to have any. So stay in your lane, you're vaccinated, you're cool. Don't press it on people, don't mandate us to not live, right? Second, I'm not here to offend anyone. I am Team Purple, I am Team Switzerland, I for every single person who is a decent human being. Um. If you ever took any humanities class, they tell you how to put your ego and the way you you grew up aside and really observe things. It's very helpful in everyday life. Okay, um, be the peace. Don't don't be the divide. I'm here to bring you guys back together. Okay, stop the war. Like, share, subscribe, and comment.